Jim Dragenti with GamersBlitz.com on day three, the final day of uh, E3 2013, and I'm here with Brian, lead level designer for, at um, Gearbox for, uh, for Borderlands 2. And uh, if many of you don't know, the new DLC, the final DLC for Borderlands 2 is coming out. Um, it's not the final, not the final one. For Borderlands 2? It's the fourth campaign, fourth campaign. Okay. All right, so it's the fourth campaign uh, DLC for uh, Borderlands 2, and uh, I gotta tell you, after playing it, it was it was unbelievable. Um, uh, uh, Brian's gonna talk a little bit more about it, but it is literally like an entire another Borderlands game in itself. I mean, you know, every, every different area has new enemies. All the new enemies do different things. Um, so, do you want do you want to talk a little bit about um, how how big the DLC actually is? Yeah, definitely. This is uh, the biggest one we've done so far um, in terms of enemies and new content, uh, new art. This is uh, bigger than the last three combined. Uh, so we've got all new enemies. Uh, you won't find a single bandit in this DLC. Uh, no reskins. All brand new enemies: uh, skeletons, knights, wizards, dragons, dwarves. All the uh, fantasy tropes you're used to. All right. So and so every area has uh, its, its own kind of enemy, correct? Yeah. Every map will have a whole new selection of enemies. Uh, we actually had so many enemies uh, that we had to uh, really some of them are only used once in one map because we have that many new ones. Okay. I noticed there is uh, pretty impressive gr uh, graphics uh, in the background. There was like you know I don't want to spoil anything, but there was you know explosions in the background. Um, can can you talk about how um, how much more of that? I I mean I, at least I saw more of that and more impressive uh, graphics and visuals um, than in any of the other DLCs uh, and probably even the game itself. Yeah, this one's got all new art. Uh, we've got all new uh, vending machines, new loot chests. Uh, new environments, um, you know, all new uh, art sets like castles, uh, mines. We got a dwarven mines, forests. Um, pretty much everything in this is brand new. And I just want to touch on the fact that it, um, the basis of it is, um, if anybody's played Borderlands 2, they know the Tiny Tina character, and she, the, the this entire DLC takes place in her mind. Is that correct? Exactly. The, the premise is uh, we brought back the original Vault Hunters uh, and they're sitting around the table uh, playing an RPG called Bunkers and Badasses uh, down in Sanctuary and uh, Tiny Tina is your crazy insane dungeon master. So uh, she's kind of new to DMing so she kind of figures it out along the way as you're playing the DLC. Um, you know, she's, she'll spawn a boss in right at the beginning of the campaign and then realize uh, uh, that probably won't work. So then she'll, you know, despawn it and respawn it with a smaller, more manageable boss. So Borderlands 2 has, you know, is, is humorous in general, you know, especially the character Tiny Tina. But um, it, it's just with uh, it all taking place in her mind. And basically, any, anything's possible, pretty much. I mean, she can drop, you know, take enemies in, take enemies out. It's all going on in her head, right? Yeah, it's a game within a game. Yeah. So really, uh, as developers, this allowed us to go beyond what we'd normally do. Things that normally wouldn't make sense, like in a plot structure, uh, it doesn't matter because the whole thing's in Tina's imagination. So those of you that know Tina know how crazy she is. So things just kind of, you know, can go, go nuts in, in a matter of seconds. And just can you touch on one last thing about the um, the how you roll the dice with the new vaults yeah. system? Because I mean, uh, you know, I think you use iridium to, to use it, but can you touch on that a little bit more and explain yeah. it a little? Uh, one of our new loot chests is uh, iridium based. So going with the uh, RPG, the tabletop RPG theme, um, we we do a few different things with dice uh, d20s. So with the loot chest uh, specifically, you can roll uh, two 20s. Um, if you come up with both 20s, you can actually get legendaries and uh, really high-level loot out of the chest. Uh, also, we have um, new slot machines. Uh, we've got Tiny Tina slot machines that take Iridium. Uh, so you can, you've got lots of places to spend your Iridium now. Okay, great. Yeah, this DLC is, just looks so unique from the other DLCs. You know, it's just got this bigger, better, and more badass, you know, and even... And, Anybody that's played the Borderlands 2, uh, Borderlands 2 at all knows the Tiny Tina is hilarious. But um, uh, the official title in the release of it is? 
This is uh, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, and it is out June 25th. Oh, and one more thing. There's, there's going to be, aside from any other DLC that's been released, there will be new weapons in this as well, right? There, there's definitely a few new weapons in here. Yeah, definitely. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Brian. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Don't forget to check out GamersBliss.com for the latest news on your favorite video games. Go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.